Welcome to the homework for first grade, module one. This is lesson five. Write your name first so you don't forget it later. Don't skip it. Match the, let's see, uh, in lesson four we practiced ways to make six and now lesson five we're working on ways to make seven. So it's uh, match the dice to show different ways to make seven. And then we'll draw a number bond for each pair of dice. So here we have our first one is done for us. We have a number bond for one and six. And they're connected right here. And we might see that uh, two and four uh, is one, two, three, four, five. So that's not seven, it's six. So that's not going to work. So let's try two and five. And it's, I like to start with the big number when I'm counting up. So it's five. You don't have to do as much counting. Five, six, seven. That's a seven. All right. So we've got five and two, or two and five, however you want to write it. There's five and two. And they add up to seven. And you can see we saw some of this in lesson three, where you can have number bonds that with a total can be on the top, it can be on the bottom, it can be on the left, it can be on the right. All that really matters is that you've got the two smaller the add-ins, the two smaller parts, going together to make the whole total. <clears throat> Seven, five, and two. And then our other two, we have the three and the four. So we have our big total, seven, and then we have the, the three and the four. And we're up to number two. Uh, make two number sentences. Use the number bonds above for help. And we saw some of this in lesson three also, where you sometimes you have the total first, and you say the number sentence backwards. So this is going to be seven equals, uh, let's look at the first one first. I'm going to look at this one right here, that one first. Uh, we've got something plus something equals seven and in the second one we're reading it backwards it's seven equals something plus something so here we've got two number bonds that add up to seven let's just let's use the ones that we just wrote for b and c right so, and it says to use the number bonds above for help so we've got one two three different ways to make seven here and we just need two different numbers to add together to make seven. So uh, I'm going to use the five and the, the five and the two from part B. So five plus two equals seven. And then here I'll use uh, the, then for the second one I'll use the three and the four. Why not? I could use the five and the two here also, but I'm just I'm just going to use the three and the four. So seven equals three plus. Four. Be careful when you read these sort of backwards addition sentences. You still read them left to right, but it's not always something plus something equals. But you've you got to really be careful that you don't read that as a plus by accident. You've got to pay attention to what you're looking at because it, it really matters. Otherwise, you're, you could be saying 7 plus 3 equals 4. And that doesn't make any sense because when you add two numbers together, you should get a larger total. So you can't say that that wouldn't be true. But you can say that 7 equals 3 plus 4. Number 3, fill in the missing number in the number bond and then write addition number sentences for the number bond that we made. So these these number sentences are going to match this number bond. They're going to have the same add ends and the same total. So we've got a total of seven. And if this is zero, we need seven more to get to add up to seven. Seven plus zero is seven. Because anything else we put in here just wouldn't work. And then we've got two backwards number sentences. So we can have we can write this as seven plus zero. So that we have seven equals. 7 plus 0. And we can also write this. Remember, we can switch the add-ins around. It doesn't matter which add-in comes first as long as 
they come on either side of the addition at the plus sign, the addition symbol. So we had 7 plus 0 before. Now we're going to just write 0 plus 7. So we have 7 equals 0 plus 7. And we're ready for the second page. Color the dominoes that make 7. Uh, so here we have this first one. We have 6. That You can recognize these because it looks just like dice, right? That's a 6. And that's one more, six, one more, that's seven, right? So I'm going to color that one. And this one is one, two, that's three, four, five. So not that one, not this one. I'm not going to color the, the, the three and the two. Um, but this one is what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This one has seven. You might recognize it as a six, right? Two columns of three and then a one in the middle. That's seven and zero. That and That's seven. And this one is a 4, and one more is 5. That's not 7. Here we have a 5, right? Four corners and one in the middle. That's 5, 6, 7. That's a 7, so I'm going to color that one in. And there we have a 3 and a 4, right? That's a 3, and then we have the four corners here. That's a 7. And this blank guy here, that's 0 and 0. So that that's not a 7, so I'm going to just leave that. So those are the ones we colored in the sevens. Seven, seven, seven. All right. And then number five, complete the number bonds for the dominoes that you colored in. So here we have uh, the we have a zero here. So we're looking for one of these colored in ones above that had zero for one of the add-ins or one of the parts. And it's this one, this one here, right? Because this the top part here had zero in it, so it's zero here, and seven there, so zero and seven. And these are all going to be totals that make seven, right? Because those are the ones we colored. So they're all going to be the totals are all going to be seven for all of them. We could just do that, like that. We know those are going to be seven. And then we're looking at six and. This one here had six in the top and one on the bottom, so we can have six and one. The other one has to be one. And then seven, uh, we need the one that had four for one of our add-ins. That's this guy here. All right, he had four here and three up there, so that's four and three. And then we have total of seven with five as one of the add-ins and that's this guy right here and he had a five here and a two there so that's five for and then two is our missing add-in there 